Okay, let's begin. So uh, we have uh, covered uh, a number of things yesterday. We started this topic uh, from nominations yesterday. We started some basics start tha, and then the main thing that we did yesterday was arranging objects. That was the main idea, how we can arrange objects given certain conditions. Uh, so we covered conditions like what happens if you've got repetitions of some objects. A object multiple times are identical. We talked about that. We talked about what happens if you have some sort of restrictions, like you want some objects to be together. Right? They have they have to be together. They can't be separated. What do you do in that case? We talked about that, right? Usme arrangements kaise aap kaise aap Then we also talked about what happens if you have objects that are separated. So if the objects cannot be together, if two objects or more than two objects cannot be together, if two objects ki baat ho usme we have one method. If we have more than two method, two objects that have to be separated, we have a different method. We discussed that. We discussed those uh, methods yesterday. Examples so this was uh, what we did broadly yesterday, and we did a couple of practice questions on that. Now we have arrangements. Arranging different objects. Now the topic name is actually permutations and combinations. We have been starting here. Permutations, what are combinations? What are they? So now we actually start understanding what these terms mean. Permutations and combinations, right? So that's the topic name actually. This kind of the arrangements. You can say arrangements. There's another word for them, and that's called permutations. Is sequence permutations because, right? Arranging objects in a line. In our case, we're only going to be arranging them in a line. Sometimes you'll see later. Uh, they they made diff other kinds of arrangements as well. For example, circle may arrange karna or in some other case uh, or some other uh, possible types of permutations. You might study some of them in university later. We only discuss arranging objects in a straight line. Line may kaise arrange kar sakte. In arrangements ka ek aur naam hai kya hai? In kam kehte hai permutations. Arrangements ko hai permutations bhi kehte Is that okay? So we have another name for those arrangements. Now, when we call the examples, they come under this concept called permutations. All right. Now, what happens in this? The one thing to keep in mind, which will be more significant when we do combinations later. Permutations. What happens in this? You are talking about order. You are talking about that. Okay. One thing is coming later, and the other thing is coming later. It matters the order. Matter for example. We have one pos uh, if we have three numbers, three letters A, B, C. A, B, C is one possible arrangement. A, C, B is another possible arrangement. This order change for them. We have another arrangement and so on. We've got six possible cases for this, for instance. Income get the arrangements. Now let's take an example that we actually looked at yesterday as well. And let's try to think about the same thing in another way. So we have these nine numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we want to see how many different four digit numbers can we write using digits from one to nine from these digits that we that I wrote here, such that no number is repeated. Such that no number is repeated. Now, how do we do this calculation? Remember uh, what, what idea do we use here? What, what do we say? We have four numbers, right? We've got four places. So how many different possible numbers do we have here? How do you figure this out? Okay. So you see, you've got four boxes, four places, I know. You, you can have four uh, digits. So char numbers up to choose card names. Char numbers up and dictionary. How many options do you have for the first box? You've got nine boxes, nine, nine options. How many options for the second box? You've got eight options. How many options for the third box? Seven. And how many options for the fourth box? You've got six options. Right? And then you multiply all of them and you see, 
and you say the number of possible four digit numbers you can have from this is nine into eight into seven into six. All right, so that's what we did yesterday. So what do we get from this? Three zero two four. OK, so this is one way to think about this. All right, now this is actually a direct way of doing this, and that's using this concept of permutation. Basically, see number any numbers we have a basic formula or something. And that looks like this. So just try this on your calculator first, and then I'll explain to you uh, how that works. Up ye try nine and p four on your calculator. So you on your calculator, so you can see there will be a button that looks like this. And P R. Do all of you all of you see that button? N C R equal to size. Both of them have separate separate button. Okay. So multiplication ke, multiplication button ke upar aapke paas NPR lakha hua. Multiplication wala button button hai, uske upar NPR lakha hua. So what you do is you press nine. You press nine, and then NPR, and then you press this button four. Evaluate this and see what you get. That's three zero two four. So we're getting the same result. By just evaluating 9p4. Now, what does this notation mean? It's a function of permutation. It's written like this npr, npr, and it's evaluated like this n factorial, n factorial. Divided by n minus r whole factorial. This is how this is evaluated. So, for example, we had 9 p4 and we had 9 p4 and we've got 9 factorial in the numerator. In the denominator, we've got 9 minus 4 factorial. What is that? That's five factorial. So you've got nine factorial over five factorial. Okay, nine factorial over five factorial. Um, nine factorial We can actually break it down like this. We can say nine factorial is the same thing as saying nine into eight into seven into six into five and so on. Five kya the numbers only that's basically just five factorial. Does that make sense? Five over four over three over two over one over. We can write that as five factorial. In the denominator, we have five factorial. What cancel over What are we left with? Nine into eight into seven into six. This is what we are left with, and that's what we were doing here. Nine into eight into seven into six. Wohi calculation aapka ye function directly kar lete. Right? You evaluate manually in your calculator. You will just input the value in your calculator. 9, and then p, and then 4. And you will get that number directly. You will not have to evaluate it like this. And this is just for understanding. It's the same thing. What we are doing here is 9 into 8 into 7 into 6. Here too, exactly that will eventually come. 9 into 8 into 7 into 6, and that is 3, 0, 2, 4. Okay, so we don't care it. It was cool. I'm a stress of permutations. Okay, now where do nine and four come from here? Nine, 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 So basically, nine, 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 Arrange this for graph words may understand any voices for arrange four out of nine objects. That's what it means. You've got a total number of objects and four objects up near arrange. 
इसके बेसिकली दो स्टेप्स हैं यू चूज फोर ऑब्जेक्ट्स एंड देन यू अरेंज दोस फोर ऑब्जेक्ट्स दैट्स व्हाट दैट्स व्हाट व्हाट वुड बी हैपनिंग सो अगर आप इसको जनरलाइज कर दो आप इसको जनरलाइज कर दो यू कैन से एन पी आर मींस अरेंज फोर आउट ऑफ सॉरी अरेंज आर आउट ऑफ ठीक है अरेंज आर आउट ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट एंड यू सी दैट्स वट वी हैव हियर वी गॉट नाइन ऑब्जेक्ट इन टोटल नाइन नंबर उनमें से हमें फोर डिजिट नंबर बनाने हैं सो वी वी वॉन्ट टू अरेंज फोर नंबर आउट ऑफ दोज नाइन नंबर सो वी से दिस इज नाइन पी फोर डज दैट मेक सेंस तो हम इसको डायरेक्टली कैलकुलेटर से इस तरह इवेल्युएट कर सकते हैं लेकिन जस्ट राइट नाइन पी फोर लाइक दैट एनी प्रॉब्लम विद दिस नो सब वही चीज हम पहले कर रहे थे वी कैन डू दैट इन टर्म्स ऑफ परमोटेशन परमोटेशन की तरह हम कर सकते हैं ठीक है अच्छा नाउ लेट्स लुक एट व्हाट हैपेंस इफ वी हैव Let's try this. Try this on your calculator. Six p six. Six p six. What is this result then? Seven hundred twenty. What do you understand from this? P six. Let's go. Grab words. May describe. Grab. What does it mean? Arrange six out of six objects. And we did this before. How many? So, what did we do? This is actually also six factorial. Six objects. I am going to arrange them. Six into five into four into three into two into one. So, the same thing can also be written as six factorial. So, in general, if you have n p n, if the two numbers are same, total number that you have, and the number you have to arrange, if both of them are equal, then that can just be written as n factorial. वो आप एन फैक्टोरियल लग सकते हो सिंपली यस दैट्स वेरी गुड पॉइंट सर सो इन इन द जी इन द डिनोमिनेटर वी गेट जीरो इन दैट केस ओके एक मिनट रुका आई लास्ट दैट क्वेश्चन इन अ मोमेंट इज दिस पॉइंट क्लियर एन पी एन अगर आपके पास होगा इफ यू हैव सेम नंबर्स एस एन एंड आर सो लेट्स सी यू हैव Four p four, that equals four factorial, right? Similarly for every number that you have. So, if you have the total you have, or the number you have arranged, if they are the same, you can simply use factorial. You don't need to use p four value notation. You don't need to use it. If the numbers are different, then you can use factorial. Right? Then it's quicker. Then, for example, here nine p four, nine. You have arranged four. You can do that. Right? 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 You can do that. You can do that directly. Nine p four. यहाँ पे factorial नहीं use कर सकते, right? Because वो different है दोनों. तो direct सिर्फ nine factorial नहीं लग सकते. Nine p four यहाँ पे use कर सकते. Is that okay? Now, so the question was, if we evaluate this thing using the formula n p n, or let's try for instance six p six. Remember the formula. You don't have have to actually memorize this. ये आपको यूज नहीं करना आएगा ये फॉर्मुला शीट में फिर भी दिया होता है बट यू डोंट हैव टू आपने सिर्फ कैलकुलेटर से डायरेक्टली करना है सिक्स पी सिक्स सिक्स फैक्टोरियल ओवर सिक्स माइनस सिक्स फैक्टोरियल वोट इज दैट यू दैट गिव्स यू सिक्स फैक्टोरियल ओवर जीरो फैक्टोरियल राइट नाउ इट लुक्स लाइक वी हैव जीरो इन दिनेटर विच शुड बी अंडरफाइन बट जीरो फैक्टोरियल जो होता है ना दिस हैज अ वैल्यू ऑफ वन सो इट डिफर्स फ्रॉम द जनरल डेफिनेशन ऑफ फैक्टोरियल बट इट हैज अ प्रूफ दैट्स बिट ट्रिकी यू जस्ट हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस जीरो फैक्टोरियल जो है वो वन होता है इसकी वैल्यू वन होती है 
इट डजेंट फिट द डेफिनेशन फैक्टोरियल की डेफिनेशन फैक्टोरियल बनना तो सिर्फ पॉजिटिव नंबर्स के लिए होता है राइट फॉर एग्जांपल फोर फैक्टोरियल का मतलब है फोर से लेकर आपने वन तक सारे नंबर्स को मल्टीप्लाई कर देना तो लीड नंबर तो वन होता था जीरो इज नॉट अ पॉजिटिव नंबर बट इट्स डिफाइंड लाइक दिस यू से जीरो फैक्टोरियल की वैल्यू हमेशा वन होती है इफ यू डू द नॉर्मल कैलकुलेटर एज़ वेल द कैलकुलेटर विल आल्सो गिव अ वैल्यू ऑफ वन फॉर द बट इट डजंट फिट द स्टैंडर्ड डेफिनेशन फैक्टोरियल्स मतलब वो उनके उसमें तो पॉजिटिव नंबर्स हो सकते थे so once you understand this then this makes sense zero factorial one ho jayega wahan par is that okay any problem with this so this is the permutation notation that we need to understand now npr ab is tarah se calculate and evaluate kar sakte ho let's try an example okay so we have these 11 people and they enter a classroom that has only four empty chairs how many ways can those 11 people sit on those four chairs matlab 11 ke 11 to nahi baith sakte of course unme se char log baithe hain right how many different ways is this going to be possible in kitni kitni chairs hain aapke paas Four chairs. First chair. Got second chair. Got third and fourth. How many options do you have for the first chair? First chair, me. How many people can sit in? First chair, me. How many people can sit in? 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 So it's going to be 11 into 10 into 9 into 8. 11 into 10 into 9 into 8. Another way to do the same thing is you've got 11 people. You've got to place them in four chairs. Sorry, not sitting. We're missing four sitting. How many number of different? You have possibilities. Here, the arrangements. This is 11 p4. 11 p4. It's the same thing as this. Does that make sense? Up 11 p4 is going to directly go to them. Any questions on this? Let's do the other way around. Let's say we have four people, and they enter a classroom that has 11 empty chairs now. Earlier we had 11 people, and they were entering a classroom that had four chairs. We had 11 p4 ways to arrange them. अच्छा And I, ये आपके पास एक और arrangement होगी इस तरह के possible arrangements total कितनी है एक तो लोग भी इलेवन में से आपके पास कोई भी फोर हो सकते हैं और फिर उन फोर के डिफरेंट अरेंजमेंट भी होंगे सो बी ऑल पॉसिबल केसेज सारे पॉसिबल केसेस कितने मिलते हैं इलेवन पी फोर इज आर ओके बट ना हो वी गॉट अ डिफरेंट केस वी गॉट फोर पीपल And they enter a classroom that has 11 empty chairs. Of course, four people will sit on four chairs. Hopefully, right? So they can't sit on more than four chairs. How many different ways can, in how many different ways can these four people sit on? Sit on. So now we think the other way around. We've got four people. So we say, "Okay, acha." The first person enters a room. How many options does that person have? He has eleven. He or she has eleven options. Okay. What about the second person? Ten options. Third, nine options left. Fourth, you've got eight options left. So in this case as well, you have eleven into ten into nine into eight. And that's the same thing as saying 11 p4. 
क्रिकेट द सेम थिंग बोथ वेज बस आपके देखने का आपका परस्पेक्टिव जो है वो फ्लिप हो गया पहले यू वर टॉक यू वर कंसिडरिंग कि अच्छा हर चेयर पे कितने लोग बैठ सकते हैं कितनी ऑप्शंस है सो फॉर एवरी चेयर यू यू लुक एट द नंबर ऑफ ऑप्शंस दैट यू हैड फॉर फॉर द फर्स्ट चेयर यू हैड 11 ऑप्शंस देन एन देन 9 देन 8 नाउ वी लुकिंग एट पीपल कि एवरी पर्सन हैज 11 द फर्स्ट पर्सन हैज 11 ऑप्शंस द नेक्स्ट पर्सन हैज 10 ऑप्शंस एंड सो ऑन बट द फाइनल रिजल्ट टर्न्स आउट टू बी द सेम Try, try for uh, so, so so you're saying it should be four p eleven. Try that on your calculator. What do you get? It's an error. It's the same as previous result. Yes, four p eleven. If you try this on your calculator, what does it really mean? Four p eleven. What does it mean? Arrange eleven out of four objects. That doesn't make sense. So you will get an error on your calculator. The number that you have here, the upper value number, should be bigger than that. नीचे वाला नंबर छोटा होना चाहिए सो दैट्स द जनरल रूल दैट वी हैव अदरवाइज आपको एरर मिलेगा इसके ऊपर एन शुड बी बिगर देन आर एन कैन नॉट बी स्मॉलर इज दैट ओके टू एवरीवन एनी प्रॉब्लम्स अच्छा सो दिस इज व्हाट कैन हैपन इफ यू अ कन्वर्ट एवरीथिंग टू दिस परमुटेशन नोटेशन अच्छा वी डन अच्छा arranging object so this is the keyword that we often come across arrange something ki baat ho rahi hogi you have to arrange something or order something theek hai so you got all of these different cases acha yahan se now when you are arranging objects from these examples that we have discussed and this is for your notes so when you are arranging objects what you do is if the number of objects if the number of objects that you have that you want to uh, arrange that is equal to the number of places that you have it's equal to the number of places that you have then what is that result in aapke paas upar bhi wahi number aa raha hoga aur niche bhi wahi number aa raha hoga this can actually be written as n factorial directly isko aap factorial ke terms mein directly kar sakte ho theek hai agar aapke number of object for example you got five objects you want to arrange five five uh, you have five objects you want to arrange them in five places that's simply five factorial right that's simply five factorial 5p5 or five factorial अगर ये दोनों इक्वल हैं आप सिंपली फैक्टोरियल यूज कर सकते हो लाइक दिस ठीक है बट इफ देर नॉट इक्वल इफ देर नॉट इक्वल इफ द नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट्स इज नॉट इक्वल टू द नंबर ऑफ प्लेसेस लाइक वी हैड इन दीज एग्जांपल्स दैट वी जस्ट सॉ and one of these examples we had 11 people and four chairs number of objects if you call people objects uh, we have 11 people they enter a room that has four chairs four space four places it's different and in this case as well four you will enter a room that has 11 empty chairs number of objects different hai number of places that you have is different then what you do is whatever is the larger one of those two numbers so whatever is larger you say that is your n 
and whichever of them is smaller, you're going to say that is R. And you just use N P R in that case. So here, up here, what was N was basically we're saying N is equal to R. N N or R equal to up here. In that, what did you do? NPR होना था. That's the same thing as NPN. We could just use n factorial there. आप simply n factorial कर सकते थे. अगर वो different है, n is not equal to r. तो आप क्या करोगे? आप NPR use कर लोगे directly. So this is the second. Case that we have, whichever number is larger, you're going to say that's n. Whichever number is smaller, that's r. Or you can use permutation to express it. Clear, is everyone? Any questions on this? No. People online, any problems? Can I raise the hands from everyone? It's clear. Okay, good. Okay. So this is permutation. Okay. Now the next thing that we need to talk about that we haven't really talked about until now that's combinations. Okay, combinations, क्या होता है? Combinations or permutations, Vina. The key difference is that in combinations, order does not matter. Order matter nahi karta. Okay. Yeah? Now let's try to understand that with an example. Let's say we need to select four people for a table tennis team. And people come in. We don't have names. We we have, we call them A, B, C, D, E, F. We have six people in total. So we have six people here. Out of those six people, we want to select four people for a table tennis team. Out of those six people, we select four people for a table tennis team. Now, how many possible teams can we have for this? Now, let's try to think about this. If we have one team that is A, B, and then uh, D and F. So this is one the possible team, and another possible team is D A B F. Is there really any difference between the two? Team select करें ना वो पहले जिस पहले जिसको मर्जी कर ले जिसको मर्जी कर ले doesn't really matter. आपके पास load तो वही है ना it's the same four people A B D and F the same four people are. They are in both of these those teams, so these are not really different. They are different, neither of these. These are the same teams, right? So when we deal with situations like these, जहाँ पे आपका order is not important, there we have there we there we uh, use combinations, right? Order जहाँ पे important नहीं है, वहाँ पे हम combinations use करते हैं. Is that okay? Now. How do you figure out this possible number of teams now? Possible number of teams, how do you find it? Okay, let's say here, if order matter, if order matter, what do we do? If order matter, what do we do? We would do simply six p four, right? Six means arrange four objects. If order matter, what do we do? We could just do six p four, right? But here, if order matter, what do we do? This means what? If we have uh, a team that is A, B, C, D, ये एक possible team है, ये एक possible team. इस six P four के अंदर क्या हो रहा है? ये team बहुत दफा काम हो रही है in different arrangements. एक दफा A, B, C, D काम हो रहा है, एक दफा A, D, C. इसको एक और team काम कर रहा है वो. Then you have A, C, D, B. You have A, 
C, B, D, and so on. You've got many different arrangements for this, जो यहाँ पे बहुत multiple times काम दो रही हैं. How many such arrangements do we have? Four factorial. We have four factorial different possible arrangements for these four objects. A कोई भी एक team होएगी. उसके कितने नंबर ऑफ पॉसिबल वेज हैं उनको अरेंज करने के फोर फैक्टोरियल वेज इन दिस एग्जांपल राइट इसका मतलब यह है कि हर टीम को वो फोर फैक्टोरियल टाइम्स काउंट कर रहा है दैट पॉइंट मेक सेंस हर टीम को वो फोर फैक्टोरियल टाइम्स काउंट कर रहा है तो इन ऑर्डर टू गेट बैक टू सो इन ऑर्डर टू गेट रेड ऑफ दीज मल्टीपल काउंट काउंटिंग व्हाट वी डू इज वी डिवाइड दिस बाय फोर फैक्टोरियल and this is actually called 6c r or 6c4 this is called combination it's called combination ye hum directly evaluate kar sakte hain we don't have to do it this way this is the what is happening here aapne jo pehle permutations ka humne dekha tha permutations pehle dekha tha usme arrangement kyunki bahut Four for two factorial times. आपको हर टीम काउंट हो रही थी. To get back to only count one such combination as one single team. आपने उसको क्या किया? Four factorial से divide कर दिया. ये जो आपके पास ये पूरा expression है, इसको हम लिख सकते हैं six c four. Okay? Now that was just the background. What do you do in this case? You have to select. You have to select what? A team of four people. Out of six people, this is simply six C four. Why? Because the order here does not matter. अब ये directly evaluate कर लेंगे six C four. ठीक है? This is called combination. इसको हम combinations कहते हैं. तो आपके पास calculator में आपके पास एक और button है N C R का. Have a look at that. ये डिविजन साइन के ऊपर होएगा आई गेस सो यू यू प्रेस सिक्स यू प्रेस दैट बटन एन सी आर एंड देन यू प्रेस दैट बटन फोर आपको इसका रिजल्ट मिल जाएगा सो दिस इज द पॉसिबल नंबर ऑफ टीम्स दैट यू कैन हैव फॉर दिस सो व्हाट डू यू गेट फ्रॉम दिस सिक्स ई फोर फिफ्टीन सो देयर फिफ्टीन पॉसिबल टीम्स दैट यू कैन गेट फ्रॉम दिस इज दैट ओके टू एवरी तो कॉम्बिनेशन के लिए हम क्या करते हैं हमारे पास ये नोटेशन होती है एनसीआर इसको हम जनरल कर लें टर्म में इट्स कॉल्ड एनसीआर लाइक दिस ठीक है एनी प्रॉब्लम विद दिस अब ये आपको अक्सर खुद से फिगर आउट करना पड़ता है कि कहाँ पे ऑर्डर मैटर कर रहा है कहाँ पे नहीं कर रहा है इट्स गोन बी नो क्लियर फ्रॉम द कॉन्टेक्स्ट और आपको करना पड़ेगा So, for example, if you're selecting a team like this, understand that such a team may order to matter. नहीं करता ना पहले आपने कुछ किसको select किया बाद में किसको select किया. It doesn't really matter. Overall, वो पूरी एक team है. उसमें जो मर्जी पहले आपने select किया बाद में किया. It doesn't matter. But there are some keywords that you will see being used in questions. जो आपको उनसे idea हो जाएगा अच्छा. यहाँ पे order इतना important नहीं है. So, for example, if you are selecting people, if you are selecting objects. अगर आप सेलेक्ट कर रहे हो ऑब्जेक्ट्स को आउट ऑफ तो यू हैव अ सर्टेन नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट्स यू आर सेलेक्टिंग सम आउट ऑफ देम इट डजंट मैटर कि किन किस ऑर्डर में सेलेक्ट करते हो सो दैट्स अ वर्ड दैट यू यूज व्हेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट कॉम्बिनेशन सेलेक्ट करने की बात हो रही है राइट यू कुड हैव एनी सिनोनिम्स फॉर दिस चूज कर रहे हैं राइट सम टाइम्स दे बी टॉकिंग अबाउट ग्रुप्स ऑफ पीपल आपने किसी किसी नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट्स को या किसी कुछ लोगों को आपने तो लोगों के आपने ग्रुप्स बनाने हैं ग्रुप के अंदर भी ऑर्डर इज नॉट दैट इंपॉर्टेंट तो इस तरह के कीवर्ड्स आपके पास यूज हो रहे होंगे या इन दिस केस फॉर एग्जांपल यहां पे हमने क्या किया था हमने टीम यूज किया था सो दीस आर कॉमन कीवर्ड्स दैट यू हैव ऑफ कोर्स यू कैन हैव समथिंग एल्स एज़ वेल बट दैट गिव्स यू एन आईडिया अच्छा इस तरह की बात हो रही हो रफली तो ऑर्डर मैटर नहीं कर रहा था ओके So, इसमें आप कॉम्बिनेशन यूज करोगे इन सिचुएशन लाइक दिस सो व्हाट यू डू इन दिस केस यू जस्ट से दिस इज सिक्स सी फोर एंड दैट्स इट 
All right. Any problems with this? अच्छा अब हमने करना क्या है हमने यूज सिर्फ ये करना है सिंपली ये साइड में मैंने लिखा था दिस वॉज जस्ट अंडरस्टैंडिंग कि अच्छा परमिटेशन से ये किस तरह से डिफरेंट है वहां से कैसे आ रहा होता है यू डोंट हैव टू डू दिस आपने खुद स्टेप बाय स्टेप इस तरह नहीं करना होगा यू विल जस्ट बी इनपुटिंग दिस इन योर कैलकुलेटर आप ये डाल लेंगे कैलकुलेटर में 6e4 दैट्स इट एंड यू गेट यू विल गेट अ वैल्यू फ्रॉम दैट व्हिच यू टोल्ड मी वाज 15 हियर यस ठीक है सर एलिमिनेट द अदर अरेंजमेंट्स यस दैट्स व्हाई वी डू दैट वुड उनको एलिमिनेट करने के लिए ताकि उसको एक दफा काउंट हो वो सो जब ए बी सी डी वी वांट ओनली वांट टू काउंट इट वंस उसने वो 20 फोर फैक्टोरियल टाइम्स काउंट हो रहा था तो उसको बाकी अरेंजमेंट्स को एलिमिनेट करने के लिए वी डिवाइड बाय फोर फैक्टोरियल देयर ओके अच्छा यहां से दिस इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट रिलेशनशिप दैट वी एक्चुअली दैट वी गेट एन सी आर का जो फार्मूला होता है ना इट लुक्स लाइक दिस एन सी आर इज एन फैक्टोरियल Divided by n minus r total. यहाँ तक तो वही था जो n p r में कहाँ गया n p r में भी यही था n factorial over n minus r whole factorial until this point it's exactly the same. But then we also divide by r factorial जो हमने यहाँ तक किया था four factorial से divide. This is how combination is defined. अगर इसको हम थोड़ा सा चेंज कर लें ये चीज का रिप्रेजेंट कर रही है दिस इज एन पी आर राइट सो गेट एन सी आर इक्वल्स एन पी आर डिवाइडेड बाय आर फैक्टोरियल और जस्ट रीअरेंजिंग दिस वी गेट एन पी आर इक्वल्स एन सी आर into r factorial okay this is an important relationship that you will have to understand baki sare formulas itne important nahi hai wo aap calculate se evaluate kar lenge but this is important to understand npr or ncr mein kya relationship hota hai this is how they are related jo humne upar yahan pe likha bhi tha एन पी आर को हमने पहले कैसे अंडरस्टैंड किया था वी सेड एन पी आर इज मीन अरेन्ज आर ऑब्जेक्ट आउट ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट दैट्स हाउ वी डिस्क्राइब एन पी आर अर्लियर राइट नाउ यू कैन एक्चुअली ब्रेक इट डाउन इन टू टू पार्ट हम कहते हैं एन पी आर में क्या होता है एन पी आर में विडिन टू we are choosing r objects out of n objects agar usko step by step kar le choosing r objects out of n objects and then there's an and between them so that's why we multiplying them and then what we do is we arrange those r objects so if you, if you break down that permutation thing ye do cheeze ho rahi hoti hain uske andar ncr n mein se aap r r objects ko pehle choose karte ho and then you arrange them ye do cheeze aap alag alag kar rahe hote this is going to be useful when a lot of times not a lot of times in a few times uh, a few times in some questions you will see जितने लोग आप चूज कर रहे हो ना और जितने लोग आप अरेंज कर रहे हो दे आर नॉट द सेम कभी कभी आपने नंबर जो चूज किया है वो डिफरेंट है और नंबर जो अरेंज किया है उस पर कोई और कंडीशन लगी हुई तो आप क्या करोगे यू विल ब्रेक इट डाउन लाइक दिस आप पहले चूज करोगे और उसके बाद अरेंज करोगे तो दिस गुड कमिंग हैंड इधर नोट इट डाउन एंड वेन इट कम्स यूल अंडरस्टैंड दिस बेटर तो परमिटेशन को अगर हम ब्रेक डाउन कर लें दिस इज हाउ इट एक्चुअली लुक्स लाइक 
NBR equal NCR into R factorial. इसका मतलब क्या है हम दो चीजें कह रहे हैं इसके अंदर We are choosing R objects out of N objects and then we are arranging those R objects. Any problems with this? No? How many of you understand this? Okay, good. Let's take an example of combinations now. So there's a group of twelve people, eight boys and four girls. We need to arrange three boys and two girls from this uh, from this group in a straight line. In how many different ways can this be done? So before I actually do this, let me make it actually simpler. Let's take another example before this. As a group of seven boys and three girls, we want to select a relation consisting of two boys for some event, right? How many different possible delegations can we have? Out of seven boys, how many do we have to choose? Two. Does the order matter? Is ko pehle karein, is ko baad mein karein. That's the seven C two. Seven mein se do choose karna. ठीक है? And then out of three girls, how many do you have to choose? Two. So that multiplied by three C two because we have an we have an and between them. We choose seven. We choose two out of seven boys and two out of three girls. Right? There's an and between them, and that's going to give you a result. Why can't do it together? So. If we were to do it together like this, get total ten. Eh? This means we can select one. Four. Why is that not possible? Ten C four. Me, there is no restriction. वो जो चार लोग आप सिलेक्ट कर रहे हो इट कुड बी थ्री गर्ल्स टू बॉयज इट कुड बी वन गर्ल थ्री बॉयज कुड बी फोर बॉयज उसमें कोई रिस्ट्रिक्शन नहीं है राइट क्योंकि आपने रिस्ट्रिक्शन लगानी है यू हैव टू डू इट सेपरेटली लाइक दिस कि सेवन में से दो चूज करने हैं और थ्री में से दो चूज करना है एनी प्रॉब्लम एग्जाम्पल अच्छा ये क्या आते हैं कैलकुलेटर वैल्यूट करें सेवन सी टू एंड थ्री सी टू सिक्सटी थ्री Sixty-three. Okay. So that's what we get. Now let's look at this. There's a group of twelve people, eight boys and four girls. We need to arrange three boys and two girls from this group in a straight line. And how many different ways can this be done? Is it permutation or combination? Both. It's permutation. So how do we use that permutation? क्या करें इसमें? Yes. Eight. C three for testing this permutation. Why combination? That's correct, but let me just. So that's very good. Let's uh, look at the other possible answers. So, if we just think of it as permutation, आप क्या कह रहे हैं हमें arrange करना है इस group को एक straight line के अंदर. So what you might think initially would be कि अच्छा eight boys हैं उनमें से कितने arrange करने हैं three eight p three into eight C eight P two, sorry four P two. That's what some of you seem to be suggesting. Is that correct? Is that what you were saying? Or did I understand that wrong? You are saying that eight from you have three boys arranged, and then you have four from two girls arranged.
can we do this what's the problem with this एट में से आपने तीन बॉयज को अरेंज कर दिया और फोर में से आपने टू गर्ल्स को अरेंज कर दिया व्हाट्स द प्रॉब्लम विद दिस इसमें क्या मतलब सो दिस बेसिकली मींस यू गॉट थ्री बॉयज अरेंज सेपरेटली एंड यू गॉट टू गर्ल्स अरेंज सेपरेट राइट इट्स नॉट फाइव अ ग्रुप ऑफ फाइव अरेंज टुगेदर उनकी सबकी इकट्ठी के रेंज नहीं है उनकी अलग अलग रेंज में थ्री बॉयज को अलग से अरेंज किया है और टू बॉय टू गर्ल्स को अलग से अरेंज किया दैट्स व्हाट इज हैपनिंग हियर डज दैट मेक सेंस सो व्हाट वी डू इज वी ब्रेक इट डाउन सो दैट्स व्हाई दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड परमिटेशंस में वी कैन एक्चुअली ब्रेक इट डाउन लाइक दिस यू कैन से इट्स अ इट्स अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू थिंग्स दैट्स हैपनिंग यू आर चूजिंग समथिंग एंड देन यू आर अरेंजिंग देम तो यहां पे अब इसको चूजिंग पे आपके पास कंडीशन लगी हुई है So when you are choosing people, you have a condition, and that condition is you can only have three boys out of eight. That's eight C three, and then you can have two girls out of four. That's four C two. ये आपने पहले choose कर लिया. ये आपने choose कर लिया. अब जो arrange करना है आपने three को arrange नहीं करना. आपने two को arrange नहीं करना. आपने फाइव को अरेंज करना तो हर टू अरेंज दो फाइव पीपल कैन हैव फाइव फैक्टोरियल फॉर दैट फाइव फैक्टोरियल लिख सकते हैं और यू वांट कैन राइट फाइव पी फाइव एज वेल दैट्स द सेम थिंग उन पांचों में से आपने पांचों को अरेंज करना सो दिस इज व्हाट यू गेट सो यहां पे क्या कर रहे हैं हम वी ब्रेकिंग इट डाउन इनटू टू पार्ट्स वी आर सेइंग चूज और सेलेक्ट वी आर सेलेक्टिंग थ्री Out of eight boys, this is selecting two out of two out of four girls, and then we are arranging those five feet. is that okay so sometimes what you are choosing and you are arranging they are different in terms of their numbers so aapko break down karna padta hai step by step karna padta hai any problems with this any question no so that's pretty much it kabhi kabhi aapke paas uh, probability bhi aa jati hai permutation domination ke sath right उसमें क्या आएगा आपके पास कोई कंडीशन नहीं होगी कि इस प्रोबेबिलिटी निकाल है ऑल यू हैव टू डू इज आपने टोटल पॉसिबल अरेंजमेंट निकाल लेनी है विदाउट विदाउट एनी कंडीशन और वो जो कंडीशंस लगी होंगी उनकी अरेंजमेंट निकाल लेनी है और उनको डिवाइड कर देना सिंपल प्रोबेबिलिटी का फॉर्मूला लग जाएगा उसके बाद ठीक है सो इट लुक्स मे बी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड रिटर्न लाइक दिस अब मैं सिर्फ करना क्या है प्रोबेबिलिटी में जो सिंपल प्रोबेबिलिटी का फॉर्मूला होता है नंबर ऑफ फेवरेबल आउटकम्स डिवाइड बाय टोटल नंबर ऑफ आउटकम्स आपने वही करना है रिस्ट्रिक्शन के साथ आउटकम्स निकाल लेनी है नंबर ऑफ आउटकम्स और टोटल पॉसिबल आउटकम्स विदाउट एनी रिस्ट्रिक्शन वो निकाल लेनी है यूजिंग परमिटेशन और कॉम्बिनेशन वट एवर दैट इज और उनको डिवाइड कर देना समटाइम्स आफ्टर कपल ऑफ पॉइंट ऑन परमिटेशन एंड कॉम्बिनेशन लास्ट पॉइंट में वो उन्हीं को यूज करके किस तरह से कोई प्रॉब्लम देने के लिए सो जस्ट हैव टू यूज दिस सिंपल प्रॉबिलिटी फॉर्मूला जो हमने पहले किया था सेकेंड टॉपिक के अंदर वो यहाँ पे भी यूज हो रहा है कभी कभी ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर परमिटेशन की बात हो रही है नंबर ऑफ फेवरेबल अरेंजमेंट यानी कि जो सेटिस्फाई करती है यहाँ पे कंडीशन को डिवाइड बाई द टोटल नंबर ऑफ पॉसिबल अरेंजमेंट अगर कॉम्बिनेशन की बात हो रही है अगेन नंबर ऑफ फेवरेबल कॉम्बिनेशन दैट मीन द कॉम्बिनेशन दैट सेटिस्फाई द गिवन कंडीशन डिवाइड बाई द टोटल नंबर ऑफ पॉसिबल कॉम्बिनेशन वेन बोथ ऑफ दैम आर so that is happening here it won't make a lot of sense here yeah it won't make a lot of sense here is this clear 
Any any questions? No. All right. Let's take a one minute break just to breathe while I search for a couple of questions. I just need time to search for questions. I was like, maybe you can feel good about it. Have a break. Add one minute. Permutation combination. Worksheet. Okay. Let's look at some questions from this time. There are only about 50 questions in the worksheet. What you should do is, uh, in order to get good practice in permutation combinations, by the okay, is it possible that it tells that if she, she can wait for 15 minutes? No. Okay. Okay, I'll share the recording with you. Okay. Don't get ideas. Okay. Acha, is me about the practice coffee is other kind of So make sure that you're doing that. Uh, I'll be telling you some questions that you should definitely have a look at. Um, we'll do one or two right now, and then some more on Monday. Okay, and then we'll have to do some more practices. Or by then, our syllabus complete will be done. Inshallah, by the end of next week or Monday, the week after that, we will come back to this and do some more practices. Okay. All right. Achha. Now we were done with which questions? Question number two, question number 36. Okay, now let's start with this. This is question number. And that is actually a bit more complicated. Okay, this is actually a good one. Let me find where that is. Okay, let's try this question number 11. Okay. So I don't really know how to pronounce them, so don't uh, judge me on that. I don't even know what these are, to be honest. How, how do you how, how do you pronounce these? What's this? Choir. Okay. Sopranos. This is a, this is this. Yeah. Yeke. Bases, okay, whatever. So I'll just call them S, A, T, and B. Okay. All right. Acha. So a choir consists of 13 S, 12 A, 6 T, and 7 B. So apparently these are people, so they're not identical. Okay. All right. 
they're not identical so s a t will likhna ka matlab nahi hai ke wo identical these are different people okay so agar the string of 10s 90 9a 40s and 4b is to be chosen from the square okay and how many different ways can the group be chosen is it combinations or permutations combination kya karenge 13 mein se aapko 10s choose karna hai so that's 13 c 10 and out of 12 a's we have to choose 4 out of 60s we have to choose no oh, i'm sorry I missed something there. Out of twelve, we have to choose nine. Out of sixty, we have to choose four. And out of seven Bs, we have to choose four. And that's it. That's do. That's for you doing the first part. This is the number of different ways in which you can choose the group. Is that okay to everyone? Any problem? You good. Three three zero, three three zero. Okay. Good. So that was the first part. Pretty straightforward. That's just two marks because of that. Now the second part says, and how many ways can the ten chosen s arranged in a line if the six tallest stand next to each other? Are we choosing something here? We're not choosing something here. They're already chosen. We have ten s already. Yeah, we have chosen it. Okay. And now we are doing what? We are arranging them in a line, and the six tallest. Have to stand next to each other. So what do we do? We've got ten people. Got ten people in total. How many places are they, are they going to stand in? Ten places. So we can think of it like this. We've got one, one. Two, three, four. We got ten boxes like this. There are ten places that we have. Now six tallest have to stand next to each other. They have to stand next to each other. So there are six of them. जिनके लिए हम एक सिंगल बॉक्स बनाएंगे, right? Because they can't be separated. So we remove some of these lines here. We say six tallest. They are in this region. Okay. Now, how many possible arrangements do we have? We got for the outer boxes we have five factorial, and then inside this box there are also six people. On this reason, we got six factorial. So we got five factorial into six factorial, and that's it. ये क्या होता है? Eight six four. Writing this thing five factorial into six factorial and then eight six four zero zero is three marks. Okay. Because it's it's a thing behind that, right? So now that you understand it, it it, it looks easy, right? But there are a couple of steps involved, right? Making a group of six people, considering them separately, considering there are five total boxes, not n, not four, and writing down this, and then one mark for. This chapter, you will have very few steps, and. Relatively more marks for those steps. You don't have to show them. This is important to show. 
बाकी आप जिस तरह मर्जी करें दैट डजेंट मैटर ओके सो You, if you have five factorial written somewhere, you'll get partial marks there. If you have six factorial written somewhere, but the other thing is incorrect, you get some partial mark for that. Okay, let's look at the third part. Now we have the four Ts and four Bs in the group, and they stand in a single line with all Ts next to each other and all Bs next to each other. Okay. How many people do we have in total? Eight people. They stand in a single line. All T's have to be together, and all V's have to be together. Okay. Then we have to find the number of possible arrangements. If any of the T's refuse to stand next to any of the B's, right? Okay, let's think about it. Uh, so first of all, there are eight total people, four Ts and four Bs. They have to be next. So all Ts have to be next to each other, and all Bs have to be next to each other. ये तो आप आपका confirmed है. They have to be next to each other. So we got how many boxes? How many outer boxes? Two outer boxes, right? वो इकट्ठे इस तरह से move करेंगे. So we make those two boxes. We have four Ts here and four Bs here. ये तो हो गया. ठीक है. अच्छा बीस का तो कोई मसला नहीं है तो दे कैन बी यू नो एन अरेंजमेंट इट डजेंट मैटर बट थ्री आउट ऑफ दीज फोर डीज रिफ्यूज टू स्टैंड नेक्स्ट टू अ बी सो दिस पोजिशन सो लेट्स देर फोर ऑफ दैम सो टी वन टी टू टी थ्री टी फोर लेट्स ए these people do not want to uh, stand next to a b and t1 is okay with that so is position one as successor only t1 so this is fixed this has to be t1 is that okay any problem with this how many people how many people are we left with here we could have t2 t3 t4 here And you have B one, B two, B three, B four here. Is that okay? How many arrangements do we have now? Let me actually get a different color here and different color. Here. Okay. Now, what about what about the outer boxes? You have two outer boxes. Okay. Now, the two outer boxes are. In which, how many options? How many arrangements are possible? Two factorial. There are two outer boxes, right? And then, if we look at these Bs. How many arrangements do we have for them? Four factorial. There are four of them. But in the other box, one t one, uh, one t is fixed. How many are we left with that we can arrange? We have three factorial left that we can arrange. On ka kya ho jayega? We got three factorial. Does that make sense to everyone? So this is the total number of ways that we have for this, and writing this, and the final result, which is twenty-four times six, that's two eighty-eight. This one line is C marks.
टी वन किस साइड पर है वही दूसरी पॉसिबिलिटी है इसके कितने वेज हैं अगर आप एक ये केस देख लें सर दिस इज फोर फैक्टोरियल इंटू थ्री फैक्टोरियल ठीक है अगर हम दूसरी पॉसिबिलिटी ना कंसिडर करें अभी एक बॉक्स इस तरह का और बन जाएगा जिसमें यू गॉट बेसिस ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड बी वन बी टू बी थ्री बी फोर बट देन टी वन हैजर एंड देन यू हैव दी अदर्स टी टू टी थ्री टी फोर दैट्स वाई दिस टू फैक्टोरियल इज फोर दैट्स वॉट दिस टू फैक्टोरियल फोर दूसरा केस वो बन रहा है मंडे And you'll keep doing more practice. जितनी ज़्यादा practice करेंगे इसके ऊपर उतना ज़्यादा आपके बेहतर होएगा. I would recommend by the time that you sit for your Cambridge exam, you should have done like 80 to 100 questions at least on permutation combination. Right? They don't take a lot of time. It's just more about the concept. आपके working तो कोई नहीं है. So at least आपको at least आपको इतने questions ज़रूर attempt करने चाहिए. इस चैप्टर के ये प्रैक्ट इसमें प्रैक्टिस है ज्यादा सो कॉन्सेप्ट जो सारी स्टैंडर्ड चीजें हैं ना जो सारे स्टैंडर्ड कॉन्सेप्ट्स हैं वी आर डन विद नहीं भाई परमिटेशन कॉम्बिनेशन अच्छा इससे एक चीज आप देखेंगे जब बनिए डूइंग क्वेश्चन कॉम्बिनेशन के अंदर ना आप कभी कभी सारे केसेस लिस्ट डाउन करने पड़ते हैं कॉम्बिनेशन में स्पेसिफिकली होता है ये कि आप उसको डायरेक्टली नहीं कर सकते आपको वो सारे केसेस था वन बन अच्छा एक ये पॉसिबिलिटी हो सकती है एक ये पॉसिबिलिटी हो सकती है एक ये पॉसिबिलिटी हो सकती है आपको लिस्ट समाइम्स इज वेल सो वेन यू डू द क्वेश्चन इफ यू कॉन्ट फिगर आउट एनी अदर वे इन कॉम्बिनेशन परमिटेशन में इतना ज्यादा नहीं होता कॉम्बिनेशन में स्पेसिफिकली ज्यादा होता है परमिटेशन में कभी कभी हो सकता है कि आप डायरेक्ट कोई तरीका नहीं मिलता यू हैव टू लिस्ट डाउन मल्टीपल केसेस और फिर उनको अलग अलग करना पड़ता है ठीक है क्वेश्चन यू विच वन यू शुड डेफिनेटली ट्राई टू मेक श्योर दैट यू हैव एट लीस्ट लुक एट दैम बिफोर आर नेक्स्ट क्लास एंड देन वट एवर फ्री टाइम यू गेट आफ्टर दैट ट्राई टू अटेम्प्ट एज मेनी एज यू कैन ओके ऑल एट दैट आई मार्क यूर अटेंडेंस एंड देन यू कैन लीव सी